Okay, raise your hand if you've never watched the Saudi Pro League before. Okay, now raise your hand if you are sick of Saudi Pro League buying all the best players in Europe. Now, if you're like me, even though you raised your hand both times, you still want to know more about the Saudi League and how it works. So welcome to this week's video where I'm going to give you a rundown of the Saudi Pro League. Before we start though, drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button. Your guys' support has been massive and I am so grateful, so please keep it up. Anyways, back to the video. Okay, the Saudi Pro League. So, they are currently the highest ranked league in Asia despite not being that highly ranked in the world. There are 18 teams and they run just like most of the leagues. Two matches against each opponent most points by the end of the season are crowned champions while bottom three teams are relegated each team can also participate in the king cup which is their domestic cup similar to the copa del rey or the fa cup and they also participate in the super cup which is played kind of like the super copa de España. they also participate in the afc champions league and the arab club champions cup which is competition played between arab clubs in asia and africa okay now let's go through the clubs disclaimer i may slaughter these names first up we got abba they play in the city of the same name and in this beautiful stadium abba is newly promoted playing their first season in the top flight in 2019 since then, they've been a mid-table team and finished 12th last year. Next up is Al-Ali, and oh boy, they are a big one. Playing in the city of Jeddah in this massive stadium which they share with their bitter rivals al Ittihad, they are one of the most successful clubs in Saudi Arabia. The past few years, though, have been a struggle, but they are back on the rise and are newly promoted after winning the first division league. They made some absolutely phenomenal signings over the summer and will have Edward Mendy in goal and have a ridiculous front three of Alan St. Maximin, Roberto Firmino, and Riyad Mahrez. Etifak. This club plays on the coastal city of Dammam. They have seen some decent success and they finished seventh in the league last season. Keep an eye on this team because they have a brand new manager, Steven Gerrard, as well as great new signings such as Jordan Henderson and Musa Dembele. Next up is Al Fateh, playing in the desert oasis of Hofuf Al Asa. Also having decent success, they finished sixth last year. Most players on the squad you won't recognize except for maybe one, and I guarantee you haven't heard this name in a while. Jason Denier. Al Faya. This tiny club plays in this tiny stadium in this tiny city. Not too much to say about this club. They finished last season in the 11th spot and don't really have any big news to report. On. Next up, we have newly promoted Al Hazem in the big city of Arras. Same as before, not too much to say about this club, and you won't hear too much about them. Completely opposite is this next club, Al Hilal. Based in Riyadh and playing in this massive stadium, they finished third last year. They were this close to signing Lionel Messi and would have given us another Messi Ronaldo rivalry series, but the little guy got scared and went to the MLS instead. Regardless, though, they will still be entertaining to watch as they sign Khalidu Kolabali, Ruben Neves, Sergei Milinkovic Savic, and Malcolm. Lots of other rumored signings, too, so keep that in mind. Al Ittihad, the league champions playing in the jewel at Jeddah. this team is one of the most successful in all asia they already have romarino which if you play fifa you know exactly who he is but they also made some massive signings which will be great to watch this year such as jota from celtic fabinho from liverpool and golo Kante from chelsea and then ballon d'or winner karim benzema from real madrid they also have nuno espirito santo as a new manager so this team is definitely one to keep an eye on they also have a bitter rival with al hilal which is known as the saudi el clasico al khalij this is a team you don't have to worry too much about the small club plays in the coastal town of Saihat, and they finished 14th in the league last year. Al Nasser. This is the club that everyone knows. Playing at Riyadh, they are also one of the most successful teams in Saudi. Joining Anderson Talisca, David Aspina, and the GOAT Cristiano Ronaldo will be Alex Tellez at left back, Seko Fofana and Marcelo Brozovic in the midfield, and then Sadio Mane joining Cristiano in attack. We would have seen Hakim Ziyech completed that front three, but embarrassingly, he failed his medicals, so we won't see him. al Lakdud. This newly promoted club hails from Najran, with lots of foreign players on loan, such as Alex Collado, a La Masia product. This team might be interesting to watch, but probably won't win anything. al Rayad. They play in the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium, not to be confused with the King Abdullah Sports City, which is home to Al Ali and Al Ittihad. This smaller stadium is located in Burada and is home to Al Riyadh and Al Taiwan. A 10th place finish last year, don't expect too much from them this year either. Al Riyadh, hometown team of the giant city, but they are newly promoted and probably won't see much success. Al Shabab another Riyadh club. Not really any big names in this club, but they did finish fourth last year, meaning they have a pretty solid squad for Saudi standards. Al Tawan, the other club in Buraida. They have a big rivalry with Al Riyadh, so the derbies will be entertaining to see. Not many big names either, but they finished in fifth last season. Al Tai, playing in Hail, this ninth place team should be another mid-table team. Al Weda, this team plays in the holy city of Mecca and in the King Abdulaziz Stadium. They finished 13th last season, so don't expect too much from them this year either. Last is Damak. They share their home setting with Abba, but but they are another mid-table team with an 8th place finish last year. Okay, and there you have it. That is the Saudi Pro League. Hopefully you learned something. It'll make your watching experience even better. Like I said before, please drop a comment below on what you guys think. And keep in tune for the Saudi Pro League as it just started. Peace.